So Leofar and the Magical Treasure Chest is a book about a child named Leofar and his mom who gifts him this big old magical red treasure chest. And every time that he goes into the treasure chest, he comes out a different animal. And through his imagination, he interacts with these animals. So for example, with the bats, he starts flying with them through the night sky. Uh, when he turns into a spider, he shrinks down to the size of a spider and looks for spider webs. So basically, Leofar's mom is asking him to guess which one of the treasures is her favorite of all. And throughout the book, he says, is it a bat, is it a spider, is it a dinosaur? And his mom's like, no, try again, try again, try again. And at the end, obviously, the punchline is that her favorite treasure of all is you. My husband and I got him this little costume. It was a dragon costume where, it, I guess they were pajamas, but like he, he put it on and, and when he put on the hoodie, the hoodie was the head of a dinosaur and he loved it. It had a tail and he used to always like swing it around and he would wear that like out in public. And I think that that was what really inspired the character behind Leofar in the Magical Treasure Chest because I just know how much he loved to, to transform into these animals through his imagination. I wanted to create a wholesome book that really leads a child, um, you know, whether or not they actually can read or not, through an adventure through their imagination. I know for me as a kid, all of my favorite childhood books, I just loved getting lost in the artwork more than anything. Leofar and the Magical Treasure Chest, it's, it is an art-driven book. Even though there is a cool storyline behind it, you know, you can flip through the pages and write your own stories. Uh, I wanted to really incorporate like Where's Waldo moments, you know, where, for example, there's a bat cave and all the bats are sleeping upside down, hanging from the top of the cave. And if you look closely, you'll find Leofar is one of the bats. And these are things that I've learned just as a mom and reading with my own son, like how we actually read books, like half of the time, uh, he's not really as focused on the words per se, but more on the art. My name is Kevin Llewellyn, and I'm a fine art painter in Los Angeles. I was always drawing and, and just really obsessed with art. Then I ended up going to the museum when I was a kid during a school field trip and saw all these old master paintings and just couldn't believe that, you know, that people could paint like realistic pictures. So Kevin Llewellyn, you know, we became friends because actually I was a big fan of his. Like I loved his paintings. He's, he's a big name in the fine arts world. And, you know, I consider him to be one of my closest friends. And when I got the idea to do this book, I thought, how cool would it be to collaborate with a fine artist like Kevin? It was amazing working with Kat. I mean, we, we've done a number of, you know, projects and, you know, art commissions and all that together. and. It's just, it's always so magical. She just, she, she has this, you know, just amazing ability to just create and make, you know, magic happen. So it's great to be a part of it. So I wanted to incorporate a tattoo page in the book where at the end, you know, kids could, if they want to, put on these temporary tattoos and take, you know, a little piece of Leofar with them. You know, Leofar has watched me through this entire process, draw for this book and put it together. He did, I don't think he really understands what exactly I'm doing yet, that it's gonna be an actual physical book. But I hope that one day he's gonna grow up and look back and see that his crazy mom really was just so inspired by him. Um, you know, I, I never thought I would be a mom and now I realize it's, you know, being Leofar's mom is my favorite thing in the world.